Yellow sack spiders are normally known to be beneficial spiders. Not only do they hunt insects, but they'll also hunt down larger, more threatening spiders. However, yellow sack spiders are not hesitant to bite humans when we disturb them. They become nuisance pests when they nest in gardens, or come fall and winter, inside our homes. Some homeowners have even been unfortunate enough to find them in clothing, but not before suffering a painful bite from this predator. So in this video, we'll show you how to identify and get rid of yellow sack spiders so you can keep these pests outside of your home where they belong. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about yellow sack spiders, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. Yellow sack spiders are small, growing to be about a quarter of an inch in body length. If you include its legs, then it's about one inch. While these spiders are named yellow sack spiders, they can often not be yellow in body color. Some of these spiders can appear very pale, or even brown or lime green in some cases. The cephalothorax is often a darker shade than the rest of the spider's body. There's often a dark stripe running down the middle of the abdomen, although this may not be so apparent in every spider, and the tip of the legs are often a darker shade than the rest of the leg. Yellow sex spiders are often confused with brown recluse spiders, especially when someone is bitten and the spider in question remains unseen. Visually, brown recluse spiders are about the same size as yellow sex spiders, however, these spiders are guaranteed to be brown. Brown recluse spiders are identified by their violin-shaped marks on their cephalothorax. If you've been bitten by a dangerous spider like the brown recluse, or you can't identify the spider that bit you, you should immediately seek medical attention, but know that a yellow sack spider's bite is much more mild than a brown recluse spider or even a hobo spider's bite. The bite is still painful and toxic, and the site of the bite will swell with the possibility of blistering, but recovery usually occurs within several hours. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what your pests look like, check around your property to confirm their presence or find hotspots of activity. Check outdoors around your property for yellow sack spiders or their harborages. Yellow sack spiders typically live in gardens and underneath debris. Since these spiders hunt their prey, they don't build webs like other spiders. Instead, they build sleep sacks wherever they nest. Yellow sack spiders tend to stay near their sleep sack when on the hunt, and they also use it to house their egg sacks. Yellow sack spider egg sacs look like a cluster of about 30 to 40 individual spherical eggs loosely held together with a thin layer of silk. Be careful not to approach any spiders you may find to avoid being bitten. Sometimes, you can find yellow sack spiders that have invaded indoors. This mostly occurs during the fall and winter months, as yellow sack spiders typically stay outdoors during the warmer months. Indoors, yellow sack spiders will inhabit many rooms, establishing a sleep sack along the edges or corners of a room. You may want to prioritize searching rooms that have high moisture and are seldom visited, since other pests, i.e. food sources, that invade structures are attracted to these places. Check underneath and around any clutter or furniture, since these are common hiding places for spiders and many other pests. After identifying your pest and inspecting for activity on your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE and remember to keep all people and pets off the treated areas until dry. Before applying chemical treatment, you'll first need to address any of the harborages you may have found during your inspection. Outdoors, you'll want to pick up any debris on the ground and rake leaf litter away from your lawn. If you keep firewood, properly stack it as far away from your home as possible. Indoors, pick up and remove storage items, bins, boxes, and other clutter. In order to treat for yellow sack spiders, we recommend you use a bifenthrin-based liquid insecticide concentrate. When applied properly, the bifenthrin will leave a long-lasting residual that will control a wide variety of pests. First, apply the product as a perimeter treatment around your home. For a bifenthrin product with a concentration of 7.9% active ingredient, you'll mix a solution at a rate of 0.33 fluid ounces to one whole fluid ounce of product per one gallon of water. Use the higher amount if you're dealing with a heavy pest infestation. We recommend you make the application with a one-gallon handheld pump sprayer, since it makes both mixing and applying the product quick and simple. To mix your solution, first fill your sprayer halfway with water, add your measured amount of product into the sprayer, then add the remaining water up to the one-gallon line. Close the sprayer and shake to ensure an even distribution. Pump the sprayer a few times to produce a low-pressure spray. To apply your solution as a perimeter application, just spray along your home's outer perimeter, spraying 3 feet up the structure and 3 feet out. 
Next, apply your solution indoors. Treat entry points like doors and windows and where pests may be hiding. Pay close attention to cracks and crevices. This includes baseboards, closets, around water pipes, and behind and underneath appliances. You'll also want to treat in attics, basements, and garages. If you encounter any spiders while applying this solution, you may spray them directly, as residual effects from insecticides have little effects on spiders anyway. When complete, allow the solution to dry. This product will leave behind a residual that lasts for up to 90 days and will control many pests. A pest vulnerable to bifenthrin that makes contact with the residual will have their nervous system impacted, eventually dying in several hours. After you've finished applying your bifenthrin solution, any future encounters with spiders can be controlled with a contact spray, like pyrid aerosol. Pyrid is a ready-to-use botanical insecticide that is made with pyrethrins and piperonyl butoxide, or PBO. Simply shake, aim, and spray pyrid onto the spider. Like bifenthrin, this product will impact the pest's nervous system, knocking it down immediately and killing it within minutes. After chemical treatment, we suggest you set up glue traps to monitor for any further activity. We recommend you use Solutions Pro glue boards for easy setup and placement. Simply remove the trap's waxy paper seal and lay the trap flat and flush against the wall where you've seen pest activity out of the reach of any children or pets. If you, a child, or a pet get stuck on these glue boards, you can use cooking oil to loosen the trap's stickiness. Prevention is essential to keeping pests in check. Even after you've applied pesticides, the best way to stop pest activity is to make sure it can't happen. To stop yellow sack spiders from invading your home, you'll need to seal and close any potential entry points found during your inspection. Tight cracks and crevices may be filled with caulk, while larger voids may need to be stuffed with copper mesh. You may also need to repair any torn screens or affix brush or rubber seals onto doors and windows. Continue to clean and pick up clutter inside and outside your home. Ensure that spiders have nowhere to establish themselves on your property, forcing them to seek shelter elsewhere. Finally, keep up with timed applications of your bifenthrin-based insecticide. When applying a product with 7.9% bifenthrin with the previously used mix rate, it will leave a powerful residual that will last for up to 90 days. We recommend you spray quarterly to keep pests away year-long. While yellow sack spiders are normally beneficial, they can pose a danger when they establish nests in or near our homes. But there are ways to control spiders and prevent them from invading. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop yellow sack spiders from infesting your property, and we offer same-day shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos. And contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.